everybody, how's it going? It's Pete here today at Omoriyama Zoo in Akita Prefecture in North Japan. And we're here today, I'm going to try out my new Sigma 60 to 600 mil sports lens uh, with the R6, which I recently purchased as well. So we're going to see if we can't get some cool animal shots here in this zoo and uh, can have a look at some of the shots later on and see if we got any keepers. So come along, let's check it out. Okay, so now we're back home and I thought I'd go through and show you a few more of my favorite images from the day and talk a little bit about um, some of the difficulties and uh, some of the advantages of using this kit that I took with me on this day. The fences. There's fences everywhere so pretty much every shot I was shooting through either glass or through some kind of fence which proved to be uh, quite tricky but if you get up close enough to the fence and shoot with your lens wide open, uh, I find that it pretty much just disappears and you don't see the fence at all. It can prove to be a little bit of a problem with the bokeh in the background as you get a bit of a cross pattern from the, the fences being out of focus, but uh, it wasn't too distracting. Most of the time I tried to focus on tight portraits of the animals. Um, Shooting through glass is a different uh, thing altogether. So for the fences and the glass, most of the time, if I could get close enough, I would take off my lens hood, as you could see in some of the clips, which enabled me to get up really close to the fence and render it out of focus so that it wasn't very visible at all. I was glad I brought along my monopod to help alleviate some of that weight. Uh, so for short shooting durations, handheld would be okay for maybe tracking birds in flight and things like that. But for extended duration type shoots like this one, I was very happy I brought the monopod along. It really helped me out. I mostly stuck in manual mode with auto ISO. So I chose an, an ISO quite high of around 800th of a second. Uh, to make sure that the animal was frozen and no, there was no motion blur. And I was shooting wide open most of the time, so that was around f4 or uh, 4, maybe 5.6 or something like that, depending on what zoom range I was at. And then I let the ISO go automatic, so the camera would choose that, essentially. And uh, I found that to be a pretty nice way to shoot and not have to keep thinking about uh, if my shutter speed was fast enough. And then for my focus settings, I used the new, relatively new uh, Canon R6. It's new for me at least. And I'm enjoying the animal eye detection setting that it has. And I'm using the eye detection actually right now as well with it set to people. Uh, for the animal setting, I found it worked good most of the time but I hear it's mainly designed to be able to find cats and dogs and your general kind of animals, birds, things like that. 
So it did have a bit of trouble with certain animals, depending what they were, figuring out where their eyes were, but I would say 80% of the time it worked fantastically. And uh, my cat is meowing at the door. I hope he doesn't come up on the video too much. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, I'd like to show you now just a small selection of a few of my other favorite images from the day. So let's take a quick look now. sit on the keyboard up here. Does anyone else have this problem with cats? What can you do?